Hello, this is Malik Zubair Asim. Today I'm going to present my project and idea in this video. Uh, my project is decentralized data storage system. You will understand from this word decentralized, what is decentralized, and we are talking about data. Nowadays, data is very important because if someone have your data, they will do anything they will play with your data. They will play with your personal life. If someone have your some business files, they will play with your business. So nowadays and for from long time, we are storing our data some centralized storage system. Like that's why we have some Google Drive, uh, OneDrive, Dropbox. There are many storage systems we are using in our daily life. But the problem is that if we are storing our data on that system, that that platform is are selling our data. Recently, we had heard a news: Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, they are this man is selling his users' data in market. It's not a small amount of cost they sell. They sold out our user's data in a large number of amount they sealed user's data everyone have some secret files business files some personal information because everyone is using digital banking digital everyone is doing digital transactions everyone is using social media platforms we put our information on all social platforms if we are using that platform if we are doing we are putting our information on that platform then we will use that system if we will not put our information on that system then th that system will not give us access to use this that system so we heard so many words in the last uh, 5 to 10 years big data data analysis, data mining, data warehousing, and data science. My project is decentralized storage on blockchain. How my, I, my idea works in this condition for securing our data or our files or our information. So let's discuss. First, we should need to know what is blockchain and why we need the system and how we will protect our some important file to store on blockchain system. And this system is not hackable, hackable like properly. In blockchain, if someone have 51% have access of that blockchain, then that will win that system. In blockchain, there is win-win process, win-win consensus. There is some consensus algorithms. There are many stakeholders, shareholders, and there is many consensus like proof of work is consensus, proof of stake is consensus. Then that will win that system. This is not easy to get 51% access of any blockchain. I'm trying to making a system on blockchain there on initial stage, we have some space. After that, user will put his information or his files. That data will be secure on blockchain. If that storage is full, then you should need to buy storage from blockchain database. In our system, user will become a storage buyer and also a storage seller. How blockchain storage works? Like uh, first we put, this is our data, and this is shard data. So what is shard? Shard is sharding data. Sharding is a database technique that will to be used for dramatically scale on Ethereum blockchain and enable to 
process more transactions per second. Uh, sharding refers to the horizontal partitioning of database through division into rows. This like uh, shardings sh are conceptualized based on characteristics. For example, uh, one shard might be responsible for storing the state of transactions and history for a specific type of address, or it might be possible to divide shards based on the type of digital asset, like uh, Ethereum smart contracts. This is digital assets. So transactions involving the digital asset might be made possible through a combination of shards. Then after, this is our assets, digital asset records, and this is encrypting, sharding. And after the encryption of that shard, this is replicate. And then this distributed shards is divided in different nodes. Every nodes have a copy of every file. So if some nodes will be missed, then automatically system will access to next node to provide information. Then after this all the process, then transactions will be recorded on blockchain. What is project scope? Our project scope is to provide decentralized storage and on blockchain and peer-to-peer -peer network. There, if peer-to-peer -peer network is that if one node will be missed, then next node will provide information to user. User will authorize to replicate and update new data. There, in our system, there is a subscription model. We are providing a subscription model for customers or users for storing information on that system or buying and selling data storage on blockchain through our system. So there is an option to store it user will become a storage provider and storage provider will also use the storage of that system we are using cloud storage we are putting too many too much amount of money we are putting to buying cloud storage we are buying google drive storage we are buying one drive storage so and that storage provider is centralized and uh, on blockchain storage provider is decentralized so this is trusty blockchain system is providing to securing your data this is how blockchain works if someone requests a transactions on a system then transactions recorded will is here peer to peer network to connect it with nodes and validate the information of that request and after the verify the transactions through cryptocurrency records contracts or other information on blockchain there is a transaction on cryptocurrency form, cryptocurrency form this is cryptocurrencies this is supplies not determined by a central bank here you can see here this is central bank because uh, this system is uh, giving access to the centralized storage system after once verify the transaction then all transactions will combine and make a block on existing blockchain and then create a block on blockchain system then transactions is after that will complete what is distributed ledger and how it works there are some, some multiple ledgers but bank holds the unique record because for banking transactions we are doing in normal life our so there is bank and client a client b client c client d if accidentally banks records will be burned then what they will do after the burning records of users they don't have information to get back records of users 
So a blockchain is a decentralized, distributed, and public digital consisting of records called blocks, because every block have informations of users, and uh, that is used to record transactions across many computers, so that any involved block cannot be altered retroactively without the alteration of all subsequent blocks. There is one ledger. Every node has some level of access into the ledger, like node A, node B, node C, node D, and node E. All nodes agree to protocol that determines the true state of the ledger at any point in time. The application of this protocol is sometimes called achieving consensus, because if one node will not, will not agree on that statement, then consensus will not be verified on the system. This is our content hashing. File A is ABC. File A has content is ABC. And after encryption in hashing values, the file is converted encrypting in 1 to 3. And this is file B, this is CBA. This is converting in 3 to 1. Like different hashing values, they are converting our files to secure and encrypt our information in that system. This is how our system will work. Like this is our mobile and this is data, data blockchain data storage. And we are using IPFS system for some integrations. This is a smart contract. We are using IPFS for customers to some APIs for Ethereum and smart contracts. Then user will come on Ethereum server and make a smart contract and then upload on the database. And then after the transactions will be complete and this data will be stored on blockchain system. This is, uh, you can see here, IPFS is connected with smart contracts and Ethereum is also connected with smart contracts because Ethereum on it, smart contracts is a way to upload uh, your data information on Ethereum server. This is a pro IPFS is a protocol and network designed to create a content addressable peer-to-peer -peer method to storing, sharing, and hypermedia. A block, a digital ledger in which transactions made in Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency are recorded chronologically and publicly. This is our implementing implementation process. This is our, we are using Node.js server for creating this system. This is uh, our framework to run all code on end using NPM. And after that, we are config, configuring our MetaMask to our smart contract to interact with blockchain and enable websites. And after that, we are creating our smart contracts on the Remix ID. Then after that, we are connect with IPFS nodes to connect the system and run that. And then we are using, we are putting our smart contract on Ethereum server on Ethereum scan. This is our uh, Rinky by transactions pools. Here we can see there are too many transactions. We can see here in this slides. What is consensus mechanism? As we discussed, uh, consensus is a fault tolerant mechanism that is used in computer and blockchain system to achieve the necessary agreement. Everyone should need to be agree on uh, one statement or one value to distribute process of multiple agents, such like in cryptocurrencies. It is good for record keeping and uh, among other things to securing data on system. There are multiple consensus, proof of work, proof of stake, proof of burn, proof of legitimate. There are many consensus in blockchain to playing a role of solutions and providing different use cases like real estate on blockchain, immigration on blockchain. There are many uh, use cases on blockchain. Here we can see this is proof of work. They are working and mining informations 
and they are they have st and they are they are buying from them proof of work. They have stakes on blockchain. The proof of work is a consensus algorithm used by the most popular cryptocurrency networks like Bitcoin and Litecoin. It requires a participant node to prove that the work done and submitted by them qualifies them to receive the right to add new transactions to the blockchain. If someone don't put the right information on the blockchain system, and if they have right transactions, private key and public key, and after that they don't put the right information of his profile, then uh, transactions will be rejected. However, this whole mining mechanism of Bitcoin needs high energy consumptions and longer processing time. It takes too much uh, big servers, servers for mining all consumptions process time. The proof of stake is another common consensus algorithm that evolves as a low cost, low energy consuming alternative to proof of work algorithm. It involves a lot allocation of responsibility to maintaining the public ledger to a participant node into a proportion number of the virtual currency tokens. Like if someone, if Ethereum, firstly Ethereum made a tokens, then after that Ethereum launch a cryptocurrency on the system. However, this comes with a drawback that it promotes crypto coin saving instead of spending. Conclusion is that in this idea working on decentralized storage system because we are owner of our data. Nowadays data is very important in every situation. If you are not securing your data, then your data will be stolen from other giants. So this system is providing security and giving ownership to your data. This system is proposed the idea of about decentralized storage system using blockchain techniques. Because there, there are too many techniques we are using in blockchain to provide a better system for data storage. Data storage. This blockchain is secured from all threats and attacks and in blockchain have multiple nodes. And like we discussed in previous slides, Every node have a copy of our data, and uh, if system will crash, then system will give access to another node to provide information to the users. So this is my idea, this is my presentation, and I'm also developing a smart contract. This is my smart contract. I again compiled my smart contract. I created a contract on as a factory because a database is a factory. We are putting too many employees in a factory. This is like database. In database, we are putting too much data in database. So here we are make a structure of nodes and create a node id with ip addresses and after that we make a structure for public active nodes for public private public keys and there is a summaries of active nodes and how long of hash will become There is a functions for node signup and user signup. User will come and get access of that system. There is for memory, a user will provide storage or user will get a storage from that system. This is for user instances. Address user, this is file details file string file name part one part two they are uh, putting information in strings or in integer with file names like here you can see we put in part three new files on that system we create address after that the number of files you can see here the length Part one and two. Here I compiled my smart contract. 
because I created this smart contract on 0.68 version and before a few days the new version will be, is, was released so I expect here here is my smart contract will create on user instance and factory so I run my smart contract deploy this is the details for deployment option at first confirm this is the creation of factory pending like this is the option network here I uploaded my ethereum smart contract for decentralized data storage system here we will check this is submitted or not this is still pending It takes five to ten seconds, or sometimes it takes thirty seconds to transact on the system. It risking. You can see here. This is our data. It's converted in this form. I think it takes time. Here is some uh, contracts, active, active nodes, there is some for information, users, nodes, for node sign in, node sign out, node sign up, and for user information you can see here I put my name here. Multi here is uh, I think this is still It still takes time. I inject my Web3 with my smart contract because uh, a smart contract is working with uh, Web3.0. Uh, I connect with Web3, and this is my Ethereum smart con Ethereum account address. I put some gas limits for transactions here. Here is my transaction records. Yeah, here. But you can see here one block confirmation. Now we can see. Like 31 transactions and 240 contracts internal transactions in this block. We did 31 transactions like multiple instances and multiple structures with files and 240 contracts in uh, one single smart contract. Block reward, I received block reward is 2.15 Ethereum and unclass reward is 3 Ether. Like uh, I am not putting this smart contract again on the system because uh, 
we put just one time on that system and this is mining time of 16 seconds for smart contract this is my gas limit and this is my gas used for this transactions i put this is this amount for transactions and the system takes this gas for transactions so now you understand i created uh, just one smart contract and they put on the system on a single file to 40 contract internal transactions in this block in just single smart contract they did 31 transactions and 240 contract transactions in just one block for and receive some block rewards to create if someone creates a block then he he or she will receive rewards from the system we are trying to make a system uh, decentralized data storage i just try my best to make my the system because i am working last year's last from last year in blockchain and this is my idea and this is my i think this is my novel idea for uh, making a decentralized storage system for users or public thanks for your watching